What's up, Turbo Rebels? Welcome back to the ultimate destination for car enthusiasts. Today in front of me is the Maruti Suzuki Jimny. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the engine bay. This is how it looks. This is powered by a naturally aspirated 1.5 liter engine, which churns 105 horsepower and 130 newton meters of torque. Uh, have a look. Uh, let's put the bonnet down and uh, check out the rest of the car. So this is how the Jimny looks with the bonnet down. So this is a dual tone kind of finish on the roof. It is black and uh, the body is green in color. Over there you can see the fog lights are switched on. This comes with white LED projector headlights and uh, you can see the grill placement over here as well. The Suzuki logo in between. Uh, this is your turn indicators, your headlight washers is also placed over here. This is how the car looks from the front. Let's explore the rest of the design. Uh, now, as you can see, this uh, is a plastic bumper, of course, uh, and uh, the ground clearance of the car is pretty good. Uh, it's kept keeping in mind for people who want to go off-roading with this vehicle. So, the cladding is all the way uh, it's surrounded with the wheel arches as well and you get uh, 15 inch alloy wheels with uh, 195 by 80 uh, the tire profile so the wheels comparatively look smaller to me uh, it should have been at least 16 inches in my opinion and uh, yes let's move to the rear now so this is how the rear of the car looks as you can see, the Suzuki logo over here. This is the wheel cover for the spare tire. The spare wheel fits over here. And this is your all grip uh, 4x4 car. So Marathi calls it all grip. That's their brand for the 4x4. And yes, this is how it looks from the rear. And uh, this is how it looks from the side. Over here, you can see. The fuel replacement, this is uh, an antenna, it's placed very awkwardly, it's not placed in the middle and I would have preferred a shark fin antenna in my opinion, but it's okay, it does the job. And uh, the ORVMs are finished in piano black, as you can see over here, again your turn indicator placed over here. Alright guys, you also get the request sensor function for the driver and the front passenger as well. Design. It's a very boxy design, uh, you know, trying to keep the Jeep Wrangler in mind. Uh, I think this has been designed. Of course, the front looks nothing like the Wrangler, but as you can see by the design of, of the car, it is made keeping that car in mind. So it's very boxy. Of course, it's designed as an off-roader. Now, I haven't test drive. I haven't test driven the car yet. So I cannot give you opinions about that. But yes, now we should get inside the car and explore what we have, what are the features, what off-roading options you have present. Oh, one more thing I'd like to show you. This has differentials. So uh, of course it must be having diff locks for better off-roading capability. All right, uh, let's get inside without any further delay. So guys, now we are sitting inside the Jimny. Uh, it's a very spacious car to be in uh, and uh, you've got really comfortable seats it's like a bucket seat placement as you can see seats are really comfortable uh, you can see the mid and the analog rpm and speedometer display over here and you can toggle the mid from this particular uh, button and as you can see average fuel economy it's range average speed, driving time, uh, instant fuel economy is available as well. And that's about it. Uh, over here, you can see the option of differential lock. All right. Uh, you also have the fuel. I think it's showing it's low. So you can see over here that the fuel is low as well. This is a diff lock uh, system it's showing. And uh, yeah, let's explore the steering now. Uh, this is your steering mount controls, your info. Uh, is not showing right now anyway so let's 
one second. So sorry, info is, you can toggle the MID from here as well. Uh, so the info button over here will basically toggle the MID for you. All right, you can toggle it from here also, and you can toggle it from this info button as well. So this is for the mute, this is for the volume, changing your track, this is your cruise control. All right, this is setting the speed of the cruise control, and this is canceling the cruise control altogether. This is a call receive option and decline, and your voice command function is also available over here. Uh, it looks like a steering wheel from the Swift itself, or the Baleno. So nothing to write home about. Uh, over here, you have the headlight washer function your headlight height adjuster and your idle start stop all right your push button start is placed over here as you can see let me just yes over here and uh, this over here you have this gear for your off-road function and this gear for your normal driving function it's a five-speed manual over here also we have some functions this is the window one touch up and down for the driver it doesn't go one touch down nor does it go one touch up uh, this is your traction control this is your hill descent control and this is the auto function one touch down for the driver window and one touch up for the driver window as well and uh, over here there's one function this is the outside rear view mirror all right so this basically folds it's automatically retractable all right there you go that's a pretty neat feature of course everyone loves this feature and makes it makes the car look a bit more classy now let's explore the infotainment system this is a nine inch touch unit i'm sure you are familiar with this system because you have it in the baleno the frongs all the new updated marutis are getting this particular touch screen so uh, i'm not going to talk much about this you can see your fuel economy uh, everything is present over here you can also see your mileage uh, history for your five trips present over here. Your refueling history is also here. Uh, this is the notifications for as to whether the door is open, the parking brake is on or the seat belt is not on and it's showing the fuel is low, all right? Uh, over here you have various functions also, your voice command, music, calling, home, your volume function and mute. Let's go to home. This is your home screen. So it's the same touch screen. It's got an Archimedes sound system as well. Uh, this car comes with six airbags. All right, let me show you the placements. Uh, one is on the steering, of course. One is over here. Uh, one is on this, on the co-passenger seat. Of course, one on the driver's seat. One present over here as well. Uh, you can see SRS airbag written over there as well and one on that side also. So this car comes with six airbags, okay. Uh, this is your AC control, completely analog. There is no uh, modernization done over here when it comes to your AC controls. And that is the best thing, as I mentioned in my earlier videos, if you might have seen that analog AC controls are the best because when it comes to AC controls also being embedded in the touchscreen, it becomes difficult for the driver to set the controls according to his or her comfort. So analog controls over here, for, it's automatic time and control, your rear front defogger, uh, your inside air circulation is over here. It's This is facing towards the face and of course you can toggle and change it where you want the air to flow. So everything is there. And uh, that's about it in the front, all right. It's very spacious, seats are very comfortable. This is how the display looks. This is how the steering looks. So guys, the steering is only adjustable for your height. Uh, it's There is no reach adjustment for the steering. All right, it's only height adjustable. You have your storage over here. All right, it's pretty big. Uh, it's decently big. There's no light function, of course. Uh, over here also you have storages. You can't fit a big bottle over here. You can fit all your nicks and knacks. All the small things can, nothing over here is. Uh, over here you can only you know keep like your small nicks and max you can't store anything big all right so that's a bummer in terms of storage in terms of practicality it's not a very practical car all right to be very honest over here uh apart from that you have your usb port over 2.0 port over here all right you have your 12 watt charging socket also over here and you have a little bit storage space over here. Again, you can keep your keys here. That's all you can keep. There is no uh, place for a lot of storage in this car. 
all right uh, that's about it from the front yes uh, now uh, let's uh, get to the rear of the vehicle and explore what the space is like and how is the feel overall so guys now i'm sitting at the back of the chimney now this seat is set to my driver's position not a lot of leg room for me uh for a guy as tall as me i'm almost six feet tall uh there is no space at all whatsoever compared to my driving position if of course if a person is a little bit shorter than me they will be comfortable uh at the back it feels a bit cramped uh you have only place for two headrests so there is no place for the third person uh it doesn't feel all that spacious at the back of the chimney over here you have your light place it's yellow in color uh, over there also you have your light placement uh, it's a manual dimming irvm the light placement is over there as well and uh, that's about it nothing to write home about you have a seat belt here for the front drive for the driver for the co passenger in the front seat belt over here seat belt over here and uh, that's about it nothing nothing new nothing fancy two cup holders are present over here uh this function i forgot to show you this is the function for the rear window uh controls all right for the driver okay you also have the rear window control over here as well uh, as you can see so there's no one touch function uh it's you have to keep it pressed and then only the windows will roll down this is how the car looks uh this is how the dashboard of the car looks all right that's about it nothing to write home about in the back space so let's check out the boot space of this car so guys this is the boot space for the jimny it's 400 liters looks uh, it has like more space than the thar it looks like that uh what else do we have over here in the boot space uh you've got this light placement over here you've got a charging socket over here uh, as well and a 120 watt output and that's about it you can also recline the seats forward by this button over here so that you get a little bit more space it's a 60 40 split and gives you a pretty much decent amount of space if uh, only two people are traveling and going off roading in the car so as this was the video of the maruti suzuki jimny uh, i have spoken about the design the features the interior space how it feels to sit on the driver's seat uh, i hope you got the kind of information that you wanted from this video if you feel that i have missed out on anything you can let me know in the comments below uh, if i have miss out on certain things i will let it let you know in the description itself you can read that also again this is the top of the line variant all right with all the nicks and nacks present in the car again thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe the video and thank you so much for all your support till then take care and stay safe